Hey guys, and happy belated Super Bowl Sunday. The Eagles lost, sadly. Not that I care about sports. I really don't care about sports, but Eagles was the only team I really knew about. So let's let's continue on from this topic. Um, so during that, uh, we got the Flash trailer and we got Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Today we're going to be reacting to the Flash trailer. And I hope you guys are booked up and excited for it because I definitely am, especially after James Gunn's announcement. And if you haven't seen that video, I have a video of me reacting to that announcement. So you should go check it out. And I'm going to react to the flash trailer. And guys, I don't know if this video is going to get uh, copywritten. If it does, I'm sorry. And it's just going to cut to me talking about it. But yeah, so just have yourself prepared for that. Um, and um, yeah, pretty much that's all I have to say about it. Um, and I have a bunch of stuff to talk about the Flash TV show and the Flash movie that are connected That I'm going to talk to you guys about later on in the video But yeah, if you're ready to get into this video Make sure that you leave a comment down below telling me who your favorite Flash is and why Leave it down in the comments below because I want to know I have a conversation debate with you guys So yeah, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you're going to notify every time I post to me or go live on this very channel And yeah, make sure that you Remember that you're the zone, the superhero zone. Roll that intro, editing Xavier, or Q intro, because we gotta, we gotta keep the consistency going. Hello, and welcome to Superheroes 101, where the super is never done. My name's Xavier Lee, for those of you who don't know me, and I'll be your host, and as you guys saw from the beginning of the video, you know we're already reacting to this trailer. So yeah, I've already been spoiled. You know that Batman is going to be involved in this film somehow by like screenshots on like Instagram and stuff. But we don't want to get spoiled anymore, so let's just hop right into this uh, trailer reaction. And I hope Grant Gustin's Flash is in this because I think he's a superior Flash actor. But we're not going to talk about that. But yeah, let's get right into this trailer reaction in three, two, one. Yippee! Let's dive on in. I'm intrigued. Let's get to the next clip for my final thoughts. So I am very, I don't know. You can kind of kind of tell that this movie is going to be the beginning of an era, um, because it feels different from the other vibes of like different DC movies, like for instance Black Adam, right? It feels different, and I feel like they actually are putting effort into this specific film, which is why they wouldn't cancel it, despite the things that Ezra Miller did. If you don't know, look it up, because I'm not going to get into that, because I'm into differentiating and separating characters from their actors, and that's what I've done. Ezra Miller has done a fantastic job playing The Flash and Barry Allen um, in the DCEU, um, and I'm excited for the DCEU to become the DCU. And I think we'll get a new Flash actor in general. Um, and they might bring Ezra Miller back. I don't know. Um, I believe in second chances. I have zero idea what they're going to do. Um, but if they don't bring Ezra Miller back and they need a Flash actor, bring Grant Gustin back like to play the Flash in the main DCEU. Because apparently, I think because of this Flash movie coming out, the budget was cut and that's why the flash season 9 is going to be the final season of the flash because in season 10 the director or co-writer or whatever of the um flash tv show came out with a statement and said that he on season 10 of the flash um he was going to bring up some flash storyline that i have not read and then he was going to make that a big deal going into the season and then at the very end of the season he was going to bring together the arrow versus justice league and then end it off there. And I feel like that would be absolutely amazing if they were to do that to kind of establish a multiversal Justice League. Like, and this Justice League would obviously go off onto the other, you know, it would be a Justice League in the infinite multiverse, obviously not having too much to do with the main DCE, DCU that uh, James Gunn is trying to create. But yeah, I kind of wish they went in that route, you know? Um, but then again, you kind of need this movie to create the DCU. But then again, it came at a cost of us losing The Flash as a TV show. But maybe they have plans for Grant Gustin in the future. Who knows? Who knows? And also, I saw like an article or, or like a video thumbnail online where it was just like uh, James Gunn is thinking about sending Young Justice Season 5 to Netflix. And if so, that would be absolutely amazing. But also, it wouldn't make sense because HBO Max is now the new hub of DC content. But. I'm not gonna get 
too far into it because I already have started to get on a tangent. But yeah, I'm super excited for DC going forward. Hopefully this is their road to recovery of getting better. So yeah, leave down in the comments below your favorite part of the trailer. And yeah, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, thumbs up subscribe, turn on that post notification bell. Leave down in the comments below your favorite splash and why. And yeah, um, you should follow my Instagram and TikTok for the most exclusive superheroes one-on-one -on -one content. And yeah, and if you want a content from me, you're gonna have to wait till next video. And remember, yippee let's ride.